Hello everybody, how is it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look at what you're leaving behind this year, what is not going to follow you next year, hopefully. <laughs> I hope that I would see really good messages because I have a feeling that we all need some. Let me give you enough of time so you can meditate and pick from my pebbles and then I will start with this one. Hello number one. How does it go in? I hope everything is fine. Let's see what you're leaving behind. It's important. It's crucial. Let's see what you're leaving behind this year and what is not going to follow you for the next year. What is changing? To be specific. All right. A new beginning. Something new is about to happen. Okay. It could be like a work-related situation or we will see. I have a feeling, but I have to see other cards. The chariot. All right. All right. That's great. By the way, if you hear anything at background, I'm sorry. I apologize, but I cannot, I cannot do anything about that. So yeah, this is a work-related situation, but why though? <laughs> look at the cards how they look small because I didn't zoom this time <laughs> I, I made myself laugh I'm sorry okay one more one more what is that all about choices okay and then at the end of the deck there's eight of cups my dear friend, what you're going to leave behind this year is going to be like wishy-washy situations that you thought that they are going to pay off wonderfully, but they were not doing a little, you know, they were not doing anything at all. Like, for argument's sake, you had this project in your mind and you put a lot of effort in it and it didn't work out, you're going to leave it behind. I have other kind of a message for that too, you know, I have something else too. But what is going to happen first is you're going to leave behind what is not working for you. What you're going to leave behind is you want this thing to happen for so long, but it didn't happen, okay? You had a lot of high expectations, but it didn't happen. One way or another, it didn't happen, but you're going to leave it behind. Yeah, that's a sign. You're going to leave it behind. Why it didn't work out? It could be different for everybody. This is a general reading. I cannot just like pinpoint one thing. But what I can see is that circumstances were not really that great for this kind of a wish or this kind of a project. It didn't work out because of that possibly. But what you're going to gain after this is way better. Like something is going to change. Like there's going to be a change. Like it is not going to be like you're going to leave it behind and nothing else is going to happen. It is not like that. What is going to happen here is that you're going to leave something behind because you're going to have something so much better. So this is a really great news for you. You're going to leave something behind because something else is going to happen. You're going to leave something behind because something else, like a new beginning, is going to happen and you're going to be like, okay, this is how it should be. I gave a similar message one time, I remember, to somebody like, this is what it should be, kind of a message. You're going to make a comparison between two things and you're going to be like, how, like one, one of them is going to be like really barren like nothing is going on no matter what you do no matter what kind of effort you put it doesn't work out the other one even though you are just like doing a couple of things not really fully committed ways it is providing you quite a lot like there's going to be a change of that like work related situations basically you're going to work less but it is going to pay more do you know what I mean? It is a dream, okay? It doesn't happen to anyone. I know. But sometimes going with the current is so good. It could be so relieving. And uh, you, you have no idea how it could affect you. Like, you know, you're just like going against for something to get something. <laughs> that was a beautiful saying, isn't it? For argument's sake, you have a project and you're going against the current and you're just like pushing. You're doing everything. You're working with everyone. You are just like not doing much, but you're focusing on this thing, but it is not paying off. Meanwhile, something else 
over there is just like growing by itself. It's like the house plant that you are just focusing so hard and it is dying. Meanwhile, on the concrete, there's a beautiful flower that is growing. That's the feeling of it. You know what I mean? You're going to do some kind of a change. This change is going to be really beneficial for you. So you're not going to insist on the idea of like, okay, I am going to make it happen. You know, on a long term, you can actually make it happen. But there is not going to be need for it. And you're going to see way beneficial things in your life. And you're going to do the changes and everything will go so smoothly. And you're going to feel really happy about that. So the negativity that comes with like why it is not working. The negativity that comes with like, why, what am I doing wrong? Why it is happening in this way? Why everyone else is getting their results, but I cannot get my own result. That thing is going away, okay? And then you're going to get something else. Or you're going to get something else and then you're going to be like, nope, I am not really interested with the other stuff anymore. What is going to change in the next year, like... In a month, at least, let's say in that way. Of course, I'm not saying that you're going to have this change in January, but the feeling of it is going to show itself for a whole year. It could happen in January and you're going to feel it for a whole year. But it is going to happen. It's going to escalate quickly because there's a chariot. If there's a chariot, it means that it's going to happen fast, okay? It could be about conceiving a child. This is the feeling of like you're trying and trying, you're doing everything the doctor says and you're just like planning everything and it, nothing is happening and all of a sudden you're just like giving it up, child happens. Like the feeling is you're not bothering yourself that much, but it happens anyways. Or something else is happening and you're feeling so much better. Now let's see other cards too. I would like to see this thing. I would like to see the results of it. Like what you're going to feel, what's going to happen the details of the situation i definitely would like to see that for you a celebration okay groundbreaking <laughs> king of swords all right king of swords is just like always out there isn't it in my readings ace of pentacles you see you're changing something with another a tangible one you're, you're doing the changes. And you have two aces. It cannot be bad. And also the lover's card. It is talking about the choices. You will have the choices. Ah, judgment card. Just for a second, let's put some... I don't know if YouTube is still doing the thing. I'm going to cover it anyways, but just for a second. Okay. The last one... Yeah, the boredom. What you're going to leave behind is the boredom that comes with the negativity of like, why, why it is not happening, why it is not doing this and that. Okay, your cards are really good, my friend. Can I call you my friend <laughs> again? <laughs> like, you will have the choices of doing the differences in your life. It is not going to be just like one beginning. It's going to bring a lot of things to you, you're going to have the pick of the litter. And also what I can say is that whatever that is going to happen next, you're going to put your professionalism. Like it is not something like all of a sudden luck just like turn in this way and oopsie. No, there's no oops in this thing. Like whatever change that is going to happen, it is going to happen because of thanks to your experiences, thanks to your professionalism, thanks to your insight, everything that you already have like whatever you're going to do next is going to bring you the joy because it is going to work i think you need to see this like it is working you need to see that things are actually working like not everything is just like stagnant not everything is just like waiting no 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 you're going to see the results and you're going to see the acceleration in your life and i'm really happy for you not everybody is seeing that honestly what i can say is that what you're leaving behind is the expectations. And I think in this place, like with the collective, there are a lot of people who are just like feeling the burden of their own expectations. And I think maybe you're one of them. 
you're leaving those kind of expectations behind and you're going to get your result. And it is going to be really productive and also beneficial. It's going to pay you a lot, maybe, if it is like a job-related situation. The things that you were doing that they were not actually paying off, for example, you're going to change it. You're going to adjust to another thing and it is going to pay you quite a lot and you're going to feel the relief of it. Like the money is going to be there, that's for sure. And people also are going to change. Like the people that you're dealing with are going to change. You're not going to deal with the negativity. If it is like a teamwork, for example, you're going to work with really nice people. It is not going to bother you. Like the people that you're dealing with, they are not going to be like really negative people. You are going to have this harmony with them. Like if it is like a work-related situation, there's going to be a harmony. No one is going to hate each other. There's not going to be any gossip. There's not going to be backstabbing and manipulation or anything. I didn't see something like that. I see success acceleration and growth what you're leaving behind the stagnation and the boredom and the apathy the negativity of the waiting you're not going to wait anymore you're going to move forward and i love this reading already i hope you enjoyed your reading and i hope to see in the next ones bye hello number two how is it going i hope everything is fine Today we are going to look at what you're leaving behind this year. The things that are not going to follow you next year, which is in a month. It could happen in January or it could happen around like all around the year, let's say in that way. But whatever it is going to happen, it's going to make you feel that, okay, this is different this year. This is different. You're going to make that comparison. There's always going to be a comparison with something that was not working and something that is working. And let's see what it is for you. Okay, number two. The sun. Okay. I'm going to cover the card, but nonetheless, let's just like look at what is going on. By the way, it looks a little... Let's put it in here. I didn't zoom in and cards are looking so small. <laughs> okay, the family. Family and the child. Okay, again, with the message of if you're expecting, or if you would like to have a child and if you are not having it, I think it is going to change this year. Wheel of Fortune. What beautiful cards today. Everyone is getting really beautiful cards. I love it. And Six of... Pentacles, it was in the other reading as well. Being favored by the fate. You're going to feel lucky this year. No matter what happens, you're going to feel like, I'm covered, I can do this. But something is giving you this feel of comfort, what it is. Underneath there's a judgment. I'm going to open more cards, but let's see what is changing in your life your luck is changing that is for sure what you were not having before you're going to have it it could be a child it could be a family you can solve some problems with the other people in your life you can have more time for your family members you can have your own family if you like you can get married if you like mostly when it comes to dealing with people you're going to be really really lucky and you're going to get a lot of good things from them as well people are not going to hurt you people are not going to you know bring you a lot of problems they're not going to become a burden over your shoulders I think what I can say is that this year you're going to be more maybe family oriented but it is not going to affect you like you're not going to be social anymore no you're going to be social believe me but you know the things that were not bringing you joy before it is going to bring you joy and it is mostly because of the people in your life if you're single most likely you're going to meet with someone that you're going to think of the future. Like maybe we should just like get married and we could have a child or whatever. Something like that. By the way, if you hear any background noises, I cannot do anything about that and I apologize for it. And uh, what I can say about it is that like for a reason, I feel like this, this could be a relationship thing. People are happy, 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 happy. Like they are grateful, they are happy. And they are looking forward what is going to happen next. 
if you are stuck in a position, I was giving similar message to number one, but this is more like people oriented. If you were feeling like stuck in a position, like in if you're like in a relationship that was not making you really happy, you're going to leave it behind, for example. It is going to change. If you're with somebody that happens to be abusive, you're going to leave that behind. It is going to change. If you are not having really good kind of love related situations, it is going to change. If you would like to have your own family, you're going to have it. Like wishing, waiting, and then getting the results. You're not going to wait anymore. That was like number one's message as well. You're not going to wait anymore. Things are going to happen. You're going to see that luck is changing in your life. If you were not able to do a couple of things before, now you will be able to do it. And, uh, you know, the circumstances, circumstances are definitely going to change and it is going to provide you more. If there was any kind of a lack, there will be a plenty of you know, whatever that you're looking for. It could be money, by the way. I cannot just rule it out. But for a reason, I feel it is more about love. It's more about, like, what you're sharing with other people and what you can expect from the people. I didn't see, like, the negativity of the other people. But I saw that people are bringing you joy and happiness. So it, this is not, like, a burden. This is not, like, a negative thing to you. By the way, if you would like to spend a year by yourself and you're getting this message, what I can say is that you're going to spend time by yourself. But for argument's sake, if you're spending any time with the people around you, it's not going to bother you as much. You know what I mean? You're good. You're solid. Okay, let's see your other cards. More details. Page of Swords. Okay, I can take this one, I think. All right, learning and growing. The moon, the sun and the moon. It could be fame. It could be fame. Recognition. Three of pentacles. Number one also had three of pentacles. By the way, if you're watching like more than one piles, it's okay. You can do that. Three of ones page of cups two pages okay and if if you would like to be single you're gonna be single yeah it's okay nine of pentacles okay what is at the end of the deck right now is the three of swords you're leaving tears and sadness behind people are not bothering you anymore now, if there's a moon, it means that there's some kind of a secret. And if there's a page of swords, then it's like, it means you're going to learn that secret. Something that was not really that great. And now you're going to learn it and you're going to leave it behind. For a reason, I would like to read it as like a really negative relationship that was not really making you happy, but you were sticking through it. I don't know why it could be different for anybody, but you're going to realize what other person was doing and you're going to leave it behind. Something is going to cut down some cords with some people. And this thing could also happen in a, in a relationship situation, but it could also happen in a work-related situation. Someone is working against you and you might actually learn about it and you can, you can, I'm not going to say that you're going to leave your job, but you can actually stop working with those people one way or another. You can make them leave maybe. And uh, new beginnings, new visions, like if if it is like a relationship, I think this year we're going to be in this like honeymoon phase quite a lot. And if you would like to be single, then it means you're going to take a lot of trips by yourself. You're going to do vacations by yourself and you're going to feel really, really happy about. You're going to be able to afford everything, by the way. Let me say that first. You're going to be able to afford anything. If there's any kind of a problem or, you know, if there's any kind of a payment that you have to make, it is not going to create you this negativity of, oh my God, what am I going to do? You will be able to afford it one way or another. You will have the luxury of the life. You're going to be able to afford it. I like nine of pentacles because this is what I would like to be in my life. This person is not really bothered and just like having a bird. Like, I want, I want to be that person. Anyways, guys, what I would like to say is the people in your life, they're not going to bother you. You're going to love them more. You're going to spend 
quality time with the people that you would like to spend time. And also, a love-related situation can actually happen. It could be like being single for a really long time, okay? Being single for a really, really long time and then meeting with someone and just like thinking of getting married with this person on a fast pace. I'm not saying that problematically fast, no. But you know, this person is going to make you think again, should I do some kind of a change or not? And also, creative works, you're going to be really good at that. Your mind is going to work amazingly. You're going to find really creative results and solutions to the situations and maybe that is why you're going to be more favored at work if you're like into you know into those kind of work you're going to get a lot of things and you can get more jobs like if as a freelancer my freelancer card is here so like if it requires like a creative work as a freelancer you're going to have plenty of it that is what i can say but you're going to be open to learn and grow like as pages like it, there's a there's an excitement. There's an excitement of the pages are also having the excitement of doing something new. They are trying something, right? And you are going to have this excitement of life again. If you were bored before, if you were just like feeling really sad and if you were feeling like there are a lot of disappointments and heartbreaks and everything, you're going to leave that negativity behind. And what you're going to get with you is this excitement for the future, excitement for the better and excitement for something that is going to be for a really long term in your life. And you're going to see that this thing, whatever this is, it is going to stay. It is not like a fickle thing. It is not going to disappear after like two months. No, this thing is going to stay. You're going to see that your luck is changing. That is the first thing. Like your luck is going to change. Your environment is going to change. Your you know, situation is going to change. And you're going to get all the good results that you're looking for. That was all. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And I hope to see you in the next ones. Bye. Hello number three, how is it going? I hope everything is fine. We are going to look at the what you are leaving behind. I would like to see what you are leaving behind this year. Which means next year you are not going to have it. Like next month maybe. It could be next month but it could be like the long year. But you are going to feel the effects of it. For the entire year, I have a feeling. What you're leaving behind. I have a feeling, but I didn't pick the cards yet. Okay. The Fool. Beautiful beginning, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, I felt that. Five of Wands. Actually, I felt more than that. Ace of Pentacles. Great. The death, okay? You know, in the reading of what is changing, the change itself is showing. Groundbreaking, yeah. At the end of the deck, there is four of pentacles. I'm going to open more cards, but for now, let's just like look at what you're leaving behind. You're leaving behind the negativity of your own life, the toxic people, manipulative people, people who are not providing you much, people who are promising you the world, but they are not doing a shit. You're leaving those people behind. It could be family members, to be honest with you. You're leaving your negative family members behind. Maybe you're going to move out. You're going to do this kind of changes in your life. The thing is, you're going to be able to do those kind of changes. It is not going to happen miraculously. You know, those people are not going to leave your life miraculously. You will have really good kind of beginnings in your life. The things are going to change. You're going to have more opportunities in life. And you're going to use those opportunities to get rid of the negativity in your life. I see a relocation. I see a moving out. I see people who are not living together anymore. If you're in a marriage, for example, that is not really making you happy and the other person happens to be a freeloader and they're just like abusing you economically or physically or even emotionally, I don't know. I am really sorry for that. You're going to leave that person behind. Someone is feeding off of you. Someone is taking advantage of you. 
they are telling you this and that and they're just making you the hard work and they are doing nothing about it but when you ask like if it seems like from outside it seems like they are doing oh my god they're doing so much work oh my god they're just like they're so tired they're so like bummed they are feeling like this heartbreak because of the situation but they don't want anything to change because you're providing for them and you know this card is just like showing someone is oh underneath there's a tower Oof. like this card is just like saying somebody is quite happy with the situations like if there's any kind of a negativity it works for somebody and you're leaving that person behind you're leaving that person behind it could be a friend honestly you know a social thing it could be like a friend or a person that you're ha you are having a relationship with or they could be like a family member they are just like acting something is going wrong but they are the ones who are creating that wrong thing but they're just like making you feel things can change things will change and they are doing everything that they can but they are not and you're leaving them behind you're leaving them behind and you have to leave them behind I think it is time to feel this uh -uh. this person is taking me as a fool this person is just like playing with me this person is promising the world to me and they're doing nothing I understand you I understand you and I understand now why am I doing this reading I am doing the whole reading to give you this message that you are not alone and if you're feeling like there is no silver lining there is a silver lining and next year you're going to see all the silver linings everything will be really good for you you're going to do the change you're going to cut down the freeloaders cut down the negativities manipulative people toxic people it could be mother it could be father it could be a sibling it could be a lover a, a husband a wife whatever that is you're going to leave it behind and you need it honestly you need it let's see the details so let's see the details how it is going to happen and what is going to happen i would like to see the situations what i can say before i open more cards like there's going to be like a new opportunity for you to act on like it could be a new work that is going to pay you more and you're going to get more of this economic independence and you're going to leave everything behind things can like that also happen you will have this opportunity you know it's not going to happen by itself you will have the opportunity and you're going to act on it you know they <laughs> it was a stupid scene at the family guy they were making fun of the tom cruise and what was his wife katie holmes katie holmes was like with the shackles like electrical thing i don't know the word of it she was just like locked down at the house and she was just pretending like she was really happy wife and the moment that electricity was gone she was just like throwing the baby and then running outside and telling everyone to run away <laughs> you know something like that is going to happen and you're going to run away i like that thing so much i still do remember this day okay yeah, something is about to happen. Some kind of a conversation, some kind of a, maybe a new kind of an interview. It could be like a work interview, some, some kind of a communication with the people. It's going to happen and you're going to feel really, really good about. Knight of Wands, a new project, like work-related situation possibly. It is going to happen and it is going to charge to you. It's going to happen so fast and you're going to act really fast. Like for arguments sake, you're living with the people that happens to be really toxic to you, okay? This work is going to happen so fast and you're going to decide on moving out so fast. You're not going to give them enough of time to think about or they are not going to be able to manipulate you. You're not going to give them that time. It's going to happen so fast. So fast, quick relocation, something is about to change. Yep, you're going to feel like I'm not bothered anymore. Nope, I'm gone. I'm gone. By the way, just for some people, not for everybody, okay? Please don't get me wrong. But, you know, after death, there's a four of swords. You know, just because of the looks of the cards. 
could be an actual death of something or someone. I don't know. Something quick, sudden is going to happen and you're going to be like, nope, no more. I'm not saying that you're going to die. Don't get me wrong. But it's going to be like fast as like a death. It was there before, now it's no more. The feeling of it. Try to seize the feeling of it for a second. Three of Wands, it was in number two. Relocation. Yep. <laughs> you're going to see the horizon, you're going to see the silver lining. Silver lining. How happy for you. And also there's a silver lining in, it, in there. Okay. You see this one? This is you. Nourishing yourself. Helping yourself. Spending money for yourself but no one else. Dealing your own things. Minding your own business. Not dealing with other people's bullshit. Not dealing with that. You know, at the other two... Last card was showing what is changing. Like, number one, I think it was like four cups. It was like the boredom and the negativity, the feeling of like apathy. At number two, I, I, I forgot which one was. It was like the single hood can actually change. And, uh, and for you, you're not going to nourish people anymore. I'm going to read it as like that. You're not going to nourish people. You might You might have that like nature in you. you you might have you might be like one of those people who are just like helping other people i'm not going to call you people pleaser it's a really horrible thing to say to another person but like you're trying to help other people they you want them to be good you want them to be happy but they're taking advantage of the situation you're not going to do that anymore they are not going to take the advantage of your situation they are not going to use you they're not going to abuse you you're going to put a stop to this situation. If there's anybody to be nurtured, it is going to be you. No one else. And that is changing. This year, that is what is changing for you. You are not going to deal with other people. You are not going to pay for them. You are not going to cover for them. You are not going to enable them to do more of the negativity in your life. Enabling part was like kind of harsh, I know. But... I think it is what it should be said, like sometimes in the codependency, dealing with the other people and their negativity, and why you are staying in this situation, it is coming from some kind of, some form of a codependency. And some people are enabling the other people's negativity more, so they are going to feel more needed. I'm not saying that you are doing that, but... What I'm saying is that if there's any kind of, if there's any problem, it's not going to come from you. You're not going to be the one the, who is creating this problem. You're not going to be the enabler of the problem anymore. Someone else is going to deal with their own bullshit. You're not going to be dealing with those kind of negativity. This year you're going to feel really happy and you're going to feel free. You're going to feel calm. The people that you're going to deal with, they're going to bring you the growth, you know? They are not going to pull you down. You're going to cut down ties with the negativity and it is going to change in your life. That was all. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope to see you in the next ones. Bye.